You do all the things, all the things. Yeah. Come you. Yeah. Second Corinthians 5 says, verse 17. God can give you power to live this Christian life. Because everything but own can and it will pass away. I go away and you stop operating. I trust me, I can tell you the blood made a difference. Yes, yes. I know I say it. All things are passed away. All things are come to Things in Christ. Romans 8 and 19, 11 says, You, whoever are controlled, not by the sinful nature, but by the Spirit. If the Spirit of God lives in you, and if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. Amen. But if Christ is inside of you, your blood is dead because of sin. Yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. Amen. Someone say, my body is dead. My body is dead. Because of sin. Because of sin. My spirit is alive. My spirit is alive. Because of righteousness. Because of righteousness. But you want some true nature on the inside of you? Holy Jesus. Your body is dead. But Christ on the inside lives. gives life to the righteousness of God. Yes. The body is not existing. But there are some people in the body of Christ that are still operating under two natures. They still say that they are in Christ. But they are not dead. There are some things that the flesh is still operating in. They still carnal. The righteous God, the righteous judge, he is not operating in us to that level. And so when he tells us to do certain things, he tells us to obey, we are not listening, we listen to one kind of nature, the flesh. And when we still say we love the Lord and the seed is in us, but we need to make sure that our body is there indeed to sin. Alright? Do not yield our members to sin. Don't let the death cause you to walk and have given these members that God has given you for his glory into sin. Yield to the Spirit. Because he lives in you. Yes. Let the righteousness of Christ prevail out of you. Hallelujah. Let the resurrected one live in you. Yes. Be at peace with all men. Among the sevens, among your people, on your church. A small word turned away, perhaps. Sometimes the simple, you don't have to be too high minded and high. You just have to say, okay. The peace of God, I didn't know, sorry I did this. Know how to live repentant life. Know how to walk in love. That's when your body has the righteous seed in it. Yes. The man it has, the enemy exists in that. You look for, con listen, you look for confusion, argument, all this wrong with you. Your spirit bit off. When you go around people, you can tell, they can tell your spirit you are right, like me, because then you, you will never happen. Because what's on the inside starts showing what you look at the press everything. When you come in the presence of people who are hiding in, in the spirit and you're excited about God, you ever been there? People come in the presence of God and go, I have a thing when they come, I say, hey, go on that side, they prepare to come back. Because all you do is mess up my spirit right now. I, I on a hype. And I believe in existing on this hype. And every now and then you yourself have to fight to make sure this spirit man. It's more and more in Christ. Yes. And this body yields to its will. Yes. And this body exists in the spirit. Yes. Exists yielding to it. Yes. Yielding to the will of the spirit. Yes. We are in this world. We are, we are clothed in this body. But every day of our lives, God's desire is will that we will continue to walk in the spirit. That's why he said walk in the spirit. And so when you see you go around, God says, in the spirit, you can't even walk in the spirit. Man, tell go, pray, come back. I'm telling you, because it's a daily practice. It's hard by the flesh, yes. but because of the resurrected one in you, you exist. Yes. Yeah. yes. I exist. I exist. I exist. You will walk up to this and more. You don't know your job. You want to get on your last nerve. People will say last nerve, but you got plenty, plenty of endurance through Jesus Christ. Amen. Just no other. Go through our perseverance. Alright? And you can make a choice. I didn't despair over here. Who raised Christ from your dead? If the righteous one is in you, and the righteousness of God is in you, 